My attention was drawn to a tweet by the SSS where they disparaged us, disparaged our person, and disparaged the legal profession in Nigeria. When my friend called my attention, I told my friend, I said, no, this cannot be from the DSS. Lo and behold, when we verified, we realized that that tweet indeed emanated from the DSS, from the SSS. And the tweet, of course, as gentlemen of the press, you may have seen, you must have seen the tweet flying around, where they refer to us as charge and bail lawyers. That is denigrating. They refer to us, lawyers, solicitors, and advocates of the, of the Supreme Court of Nigeria as charge and bail lawyers. Let me first of all, before I proceed, remind the SSS that the importance of lawyers in a democratic society can never be overemphasized. Let's take our mind back. Where are the likes of Magu? Magu who turned back lawyers. Kiari. Where are Kiari today? Those, these are people who have no regards for lawyers. Bawa. Where is Bawa today? Today, who are representing them? It's not market women. It's lawyers that are representing them. I want to remind the director general of, this, the, of SSS, the seat on which he's sitting up, upon today is not his father's seat. He will be dead today. Tomorrow, he'll be no more. He should take a cue from what happened to his brother, Bawa. The fall of a dry leaf is a warning to the fresh one. If he's not dead tomorrow, if he's not dead tomorrow, he will not call market women to defend him. He will look for those he referred to as Chad and Bill to defend him. We are senior lawyers in our own right. And we want to reiterate today that the DSS is high-handed. They have no regards for the rules of law. We maintain that position from today to eternity. The DSS has turned itself into an arm of the ruling party. The same way they turned themselves into an arm of the ruling party during Jonathan. We remember one, one spokesperson of the DSS during the days of, uh, of uh, 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 Jonathan, who turned DSS into a department of, uh, of, of PDP at the time. Where is she today? Where is she today? So the DSS should please take a cue. We are not charge and bail. We are solicitors an advocate of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Properly, like we have said, we are here again to reiterate the point that we had earlier on made. One, there are so many Nigerians. Apart from Emefele. Apart from Emefele, please, this point should be made known. Including Bauer himself. Including Bauer himself. Including Bauer himself. That he has not been charged. That is unlawful. It's unlawful. He has not been charged. Even though Bauer den himself denigrates lawyers. We are not saying it should remain there in perpetuity. We are here for every Nigerian, including the underdog. Today, Bawa is an underdog. The DSS DG can be an underdog tomorrow, and we will stand here and defend him if the rule of law is not followed to the latter. Look, this is non-negotiable. There are so many Nigerians that are languishing in prison in, in, in the custody of the DSS. You understand that the cases are too numerous to mention. They know it. And that was why they, they fall so low, they descended so low to, to respond through a tweet as if what we said has anything to do with national security. People are dying. Nigerians are being kidnapped on a daily basis. They will kidnap Nigerians and they will send videos of the kidnap to our parents, to our loved ones. DSS will not be able to track them. Meanwhile, they will be able to track Yahoo Boys and other innocent Nigerians. This is because it is a clear case of people who do not know their job anymore. They have failed in their, response, in their constitutional and statutory responsibility. And they have the guts to call lawyers, charge and bail. We are going to, at the appropriate time, we will take them up for defamation. Um, anything that happened to me today and to my family and to my colleagues that are here, please, Nigerians should hold Magaji Yusuf Bichi, the director, DSSS, responsible. Yes. I repeat it again. Anything that happens to me today, I, Maxwell Opera, is saying that the director, SSS, Yusuf Magaji Bichi, should be held 
responsible. He is the principal, sus uh, the principal uh, suspect. What do I mean? I have written to the, um, uh, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola Ahmed Tinibu, that as a matter of urgency, he should remove the director of the SSS. He lacks the legal capacity, the moral capacity, and the physical capacity to hold such an a, a important a position. Yes, yes. We came here day before yesterday, that was on the 17th. We said, no, you cannot keep, you cannot continue to keep people unlawfully in your own court study, even in the face of court judgment. As I speak to you now, I have 11 court orders directing the DSSS director to release my clients. He refused them access to their family. He refused them access to their lawyers. He refused them access to everything. And I have written to, uh, to the president on this issue. And when this particular MFLA came up, we said, of course, if there is someone that is a victim of MFLA, I think I should be the one. MFLA and, uh, and uh, Bawa connived and preferred a charge against me before FCT High Court, which I'm facing the trial. But that does not mean that I will allow our law to be breached. Let us get it right. They called me that I am a lawyer to Nnan Dekalu to IPOB. I want to reiterate, I want to state that, yes, I am a lawyer to IPOB. I am a lawyer to Nnan Dekalu. And I also want to educate the, the DSS director that if Nnan Dekalu cannot produce a lawyer, the uh, government have it as a responsibility to provide a local practitioner for one, yeah. one for him. Yeah. That's why we have Citizens' Rights of Federal, of Federal Minister of Justice. That's why we have Legal Aid Council. That's why we have a uh, um, Public Complaint Commission and a National Human Rights Commission. Yeah. So that one is clear. Then calling us a uh, uh, child and bell lawyer, that one is a, a, a civil matter, which is coming to explain to court what he mean by child and bell lawyer. I received more than 4,000 calls yesterday from different uh, uh, countries calling me about this particular issue. When is it an offense for a lawyer to represent a, a suspect? When is it an offense for a lawyer to represent uh, an, uh, somebody that is being accused of uh, an, uh, 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 terrorism? Somebody represented Kabiru Sokoto here. And nobody called that person a terrorist. Simply because I offered legal services to Nandikala and the members of IPOB. And he's calling me a, a, a terrorist. He will come to explain that. But as a matter of urgency, he should respect himself by stepping aside while investigation continues. I have written to the president. I have written to the senior president. I have written to the speaker, House of Representatives. I have written to um, uh, the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Ribado. I have written to the... Uh, NBA president, and they should, as a matter of fact, constitute investigation. Nigerians should hear my voice. Um, um, Yusuf Bichi, the director, DSSS, is after my life. Anything that happens to me today, or to my family, or to members of my colleagues here, yeah, please, the DSS director is my, prime, my principal suspect, and they should get him arrested immediately. Our fight. Is, is, is in fact to sustain that institution called SSS because it has been turned into a petty organization that rather than face its responsibility of ensuring security, internal security in Nigeria, the DSSS has become so petty that, investiga that investigates issues of fraud, in fact, I had a, I had a matter, a colleague of mine, well, not a colleague, uh, I did a matter at the Federal High Court here, wherein they said they were investigating issue of fraud. We came to court, the court gave a decision that the DSSS, or the SSS as they call themselves, do not have the right to investigate issues of fraud and they should transfer the matter to the, uh, the anti-graph agency, EFCC. It took the SSS one year to transfer that matter, one good year. And they left a Nigerian citizen in prison. We are not only asking for the sack of the Director General of DSSS today. Yes. What we are asking, we are asking the President to constitute immediately a, 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 a committee 
of inquiry to review all, all detentions, to in fact visit the SSS cell. Yes. The Chief Justice of the Federation should take advantage of the provisions of AJA Administration of uh, Criminal Justice Act to set up either a magistrate or a judge to visit the DSS detention camp to find out what is happening there. A colleague of ours, a co-mate of mine, was arrested in Lokoja about two years ago. He has not been charged to court. Nothing has been, has been we, are not even, we are not even sure he's alive as we, as we speak today. We've been in court. We've got judgments. A lawyer of more than 15 years post court. He's in detention. What is, uh, what is his offense? Nobody has explained. Even if he commits an offense. Even if, he has, even if his, his offense is treason, he should be charged to court. And then, because we complained, the DSS is threatening us, he's calling us charge and, they are calling us charge and bail lawyers. I don't want to talk about the, the faceless person that is behind that keyboard, who doesn't even know how to speak good English, who doesn't know, so professional in his tweets, but unfortunately, he is going to meet us in court. Thank you very much.